banks you're recognized for five minutes. Acting Secretary, a New York Times story, April 17, 2023, headline says, as migrant children were put to work, the U.S. ignored warnings. The White House and federal agencies were reportedly alerted to signs of children at risk. The warnings were ignored or missed. It goes on and says thousands of children have ended up in punishing jobs across the country, working overnight in slaughterhouses, replacing roofs, operating machineries and factories, all in violation of child labor laws, a recent New York Times investigation showed. I think you know by now, uh, reportedly hundreds of thousands of illegal children have entered our workforce in dangerous jobs. And this story says that you and this administration have completely ignored what I believe is another example of the biggest humanitarian crisis in American history. What the heck are you doing about it? Thank you, Congressman, for that. Um, so you're right that we're talking about children doing jobs that are um, highly dangerous, um, that it's, it's illegal for children to be working. We're not talking about a, a, you know, a, a young person trying to get their first experience working at the local uh, convenience store, right? Learning how to show up on time and, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and manage a budget. Acting Secretary, We're this story says you ignored this issue. Uh, you, I know you just said I'm right, but why, why is your department ignoring hundreds of thousands of children illegally in the workplace working in unsafe conditions? What, what are you. you doing about it? Thank you, Congressman, for that. You're right. Let me be pointed about this. So I don't, I don't believe the story um, came, said that the Department of Labor was not doing what we need to do. In fact, I believe the stories came out because the Department of Labor was doing our job. We investigated a, a case that involved over 100 young people, as young as 13, working exactly in the conditions that you've, that you've talked about. Ma'am, the, the, the policies of this administration, opening the border wide open, has resulted in hundreds of thousands of migrant children entering the workforce in America in unsafe conditions. In fact, one a lawyer, Linda Brandmiller, uh, said that there are so there were so many opportunities for the Biden administration to connect these dots that no one ever did. I mean, the question is, why didn't you do anything about it? I mean, you come you come before this committee today and tell tell me you, that you agree with me, but what are you doing about it? What is the all hands on deck moment in your department to take care of this issue? I agree that the work that children doing that work is horrific. Um, this is also related to our budget request, which is to make sure that the Department of Labor has the resources to investigate all the cases. But the reason that those cases well, let me are stop. in the, the news. The Trump administration was night and day different on this than your administration. In fact, since the Biden administration started, we've seen a 69 percent increase in child labor violations because of the open border policies that have flooded this country in this case with over two reportedly over 250,000 kids coming into our country entering unsafe conditions and i i i'm glad you're here to tell us that you agree with me but i don't think you're do the, the new york times even says that I, you're didn't, that you're ignoring it in fact let me go on because this is you know it's really incredible secretary mayorkas in april was asked before the homeland security committee in the senate about about this catastrophe and you know what he said he shifted the blame he said it's your fault he said this problem is your fault the department of labor's fault is he right about that sir i agree that children should not be doing these kinds of jobs and i agree that we should do everything we can within our um it is our responsibility as the department of labor to crack down on child labor by doing investigations and making sure that employers who profit from this kind of labor are held accountable. That is what we did in the case. Um, it, the, the PSSI case is probably the one that's in that news article because that is the case that helped to bring this issue to light. And I think it's a positive thing that we are talking I, I about this issue. Madam Chair, I'd like to enter this uh, New York Times story for the record. The, the other thing, Congressman, just uh, so you Madam know. Madam Chair, I'd like to uh, oh, sorry. Uh, enter the New York Times story for the record. Um, no, uh, my no. last question for you, Acting Secretary, do you, how closely do you work with ICE on, on issues like this? So the, there's an interagency task force now that's been created at, that the Department of Labor leads because of our leadership in, in investigating these cases. It does it include the Department of Homeland Security. It includes our uh, partners at that, the Health and Human Services. Is there a role it here for a, ICE working with the Department of Labor to enforce child labor laws? I'm sorry, Congressman. Is there I a, the a role between your department and ICE to 
So this task force is meant to make sure that we have an all hands on deck approach so that children are not working in such horrific conditions. My, my time has so, expired, but Madam Chair, I'd like to also enter for the record a memo that the Acting Secretary drafted July 7, 2017, instructing in her previous role in the state of California for her uh, employees to obstruct the law and not work with ICE. There's no reason for us to believe that today that she would work with ICE in her current role. This is a catastrophe unlike anything that we've seen, a humanitarian catastrophe that unlike anything that we've ever seen in American history because of this administration, I yield back. Without objection, that will be entered into the record.